It's a very good question, Joe, but before we round out the show tonight, and this does tie in, because again, I, I kind of put the connection together and made the comparison, albeit a crap one, of the robots in Westworld waking up to being controlled, seeing the Matrix, appreciating what was going on, and escaping. And at the same time, we're running right towards that same AI that they were controlled by. And in the real world, we've got people literally wanting to run towards Area 51. You couldn't make this stuff up, and I know it seems like a kind of a silly topic to get back into, Joe, because we've laughed and we've joked about it before, and I'm looking at... Because people think it's making some kind of statement. No, listen, dude, listen. It's important, because I kind of was going to cover this tonight. And it's same. I was listening to Clyde Lewis last night, and he's the same as us, you know. He appreciates it's the joke and everything else. And he was he was talking about going there another time and maybe just visiting the place to go and see it, you know, get the visit from the guys and the jeeps and things. But I didn't appreciate just what kind of effect this was having on some people out there. And I'm listening to Clyde's show, and he opens up the phones, as Clyde always does. And people start calling in about Area 51. And Joe, I was shocked because there's literally people out there and they're intelligent people, but they're seeing this, you know, as an actual opportunity to go and confront the government in some wild roundabout way as a response to what the government's doing on a bigger picture politically. It is Bundy Ranch 2.0. Oh, dude, that's weird. So it is. weird. It's exactly what it is. And it's the scary, from, just like on top of that, Joe, on top of that, before you, you kind of go on, think of the way that the mainstream media uh, have really weaponized a lot of people. Now, it doesn't, I'm not saying it's the whole of America, it's actually quite a small fraction, okay? But if they see something like this, and this came up on Clyde's show, and I urge people to go and listen to it because people were phoning up seriously about this. Where do they storm next? And you only have to trigger a few events like this for something to happen. And I'm not saying it's a civil war situation, Joe, but think about it. When it came to, like, the War of Independence and civil wars, it doesn't take many people. No, and so, you know, it's like, first of all, Bam said, give two months' notice when they're going to storm Area 51. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, silly that doesn't make any sense. And if it's a joke, that's great. But Shih Tzu Boogaloo, too. What happens when 10,000... Of the million people that sign up, take it seriously. Well, this one they person last up. night was saying to people, and they were asking this question, Joe, right? They used the number 100,000, so we'll go for 10,000. Imagine out of those 10,000 people, and this was somebody on the show, and I urge people to listen to the show because it gives you a different way of looking at what is a, a laughable joke, Area 51. But he was saying, what if the ones with kids took their kids with them? Right. And they all started going there at once. Are the American army, are, are, are the people there that are defending the perimeter, are they really going to open up? Think of the standoff. Think of that situation, Joe. It's Waco all over again. And what worries me is, and I'm not mocking these people, I was shocked, dude, because people are seriously looking at this. So some people want to do it for, like, the UFOs and that, but there's others out there who are looking to do it for a bigger reason, man. I know that. Of course they are. Kev, there's always those that are going to capitalize on this. You know, don't let a good crisis go to waste. And it works for everybody across the whole spectrum of people. There's going to be the wolves and there's going to be the sheep, you know. And unfortunately, you're right. Now, like I said, uh, this has all the all the. I don't think personally anything's going to happen. But if it does, I would imagine it ends up being like a Bundy Ranch situation. And I will tell you this, um, if they have any inkling that anything is even going to remotely happen, they'll start arresting people for terrorism and all that kind of sh sh stuff before it even gets uh, and there. And it is terrorism. And, and, and they won't hesitate to pull the trigger there. They put people there that are dehumanized for just that reason. And if that doesn't do it, the drones will. You know? So. Yeah, that might be the way we see the, the, the secret kind of aircraft that they're working on there. You might get your or first something. glimpse of them there, but yeah. nobody will be going home to tell anyone about it, you know? 
Uh, We've been it, 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 again, and dehumanizing I, our troops for the for years for this. And again, I'll continue to laugh at the joke side of it. And I think most people out there, the majority of people, I would hope, can see that this is and it was started as some kind of meme. And some of the memes are hilarious. But again, you check it for yourselves. There's a fraction of people out there that are really taking this to another level, and it's given me another way of looking at it. But that's why okay. I wanted to bring it up tonight, Joe, because it's hey, uh, drone free zone has it pegged natural selection if you're stupid enough to go throw yourself into a an active theater out in the open la, 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 I'm here. you deserve to get your head blown off just i'm just saying uh, this I, is coming from a vet you, i mean I'm you've done you right now that if you do that la, 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 here we are i want the truth joe we've done military and I mean, I was in the army. I've I've done stag, you know, done the patrol, been on the gate, been on the patrol around the perimeter with a literal over here in the UK army. You've got a thing called a, a GSP. It's a yellow card. It's like your terms and kind of conditions for when you can open fire. And a large group of people coming at the fence, legally allowed to open fire to stop that. And that wasn't even a secret kind of place. There was nothing kind of a military industrial complex going on. No national secrets in there. Nothing like that. But that, that, that's just the real world, folks. No, you have your standing orders. Yep. You know? Of course, you have your, uh, what is it, 11 general orders of a century, and then you have your standing orders that you deal with. And when you're on watch, and those are the orders, and they tell you, okay, if that happens, uh, let her rip. You're not walking about with a live loaded weapon just for show, folks. You know? No. No. And that's what I'm saying. This isn't if Call of Duty, that, Joe. If you're going to do that, don't be dumb. That's all I'm saying. Don't be dumb. Stampede, you know, the, well, we'll just outnumber them. Th th that, that doesn't work anymore. It's no, we're not dealing with cannon and musket. Th that's not it. It's, hey, look, it's 10,000 people. Psh, oh, it, they all just went to sleep. Uh, night, night. Yeah, and even, you know, the acoustic weapons, Joe, that's still people getting hurt. Sure, absolutely. Or yeah, nothing, you know, the microwave you know? weapons, the... All that kind of stuff, Kev. That's why, you know, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Isn't that the old adage? Well, don't do it. Don't do it. There's other ways to handle it. That's not the way to do it. You want the real way to do it? You want the real way to do it? You stop the money flow. Everybody collectively, since there's a million people out there, right, that feel this way, good. Instead of storming Area 51, don't go to work for two weeks. Sit on your duff and do nothing and don't buy gasoline and don't buy it do it just stop make the economy stop dead in its tracks for two freaking weeks oh i guarantee you it would only take two weeks before they begin capitulating oh no that's a music to my ears because that sounds very much like the kind of thing that max egan likes to say all the time max has been in touch with me on skype and i've messaged him back and that usually mean means ladies and gentlemen we're only days or maybe a week or so away from having Max back on the show. So uh, mm. fingers crossed we get Max on really soon. You know, he, he's somebody that's been about for a while, Joe. He, he really kind of makes sense yeah. of everything that's going on in the world. He's got a really great way of linking it all together as well. And he doesn't mix his words, does Max. And I like that about him. If you, win, if you want to win the war, then you have to use where you have the power. They can't survive without our productivity. It's that simple. Our economy thrives when our society is most productive. And we are in recession and we're in downturns when we're not. And those downturns are very, it's very slight shifts in productivity that force that either way, you know. So that's the thing. If you were to just, in France, God bless them, are some of the best examples in recent history of protests that have totally and completely crippled their economy and caused their politicians to capitulate. And it's something that I think many people take for, take for granted is th those out there that are willing to do that. And I wish a lot more people were, but that's how you do it. You do nothing. And get this. Do, get this and thing. instead of, and instead, Kev, instead of going to work, do that, you know, assemble. And let them know you're pissed all over the country. Because you're not talking to those stupid politicians. They're done. 
they're worthless. Storm they need to be swinging, Storm. to be quite honest with you. In a, in a, you know, like I said, I'll do twelve on twelve off with old Poopster, and we'll start. Big we'll thing, start. A- well, you know, at the weekend, somebody was talking about storming your family and things. That would be a far yeah. better idea. And get this, because in an article on the Sun, your favorite tabloid, it says in the kit they should take a flock of drones should be part of your arsenal, as they'll yeah. distract security forces right away. And the thing is, people probably will. Now we're out of time, Joe. It's been a great show tonight. I want to thank everyone for hanging with us. We'll be back tomorrow night. Joe, you've got your show tomorrow night. What have you got planned for your show, Joe? You. Thanks, man. <laughs> no, dude, that's five hours of KBS then. <laughs>